Greetings, Glitter Gang. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to the reveal of the new stamp set. I have the samples from the manufacturer. We're going to open a pre-order for it today. I'm going to show it to you. And then this video will be available on YouTube and in the archives. Uh, so anyone who uh, wants to see it can see it. So um, first things first, we have replaced, we have retired the the favorite photos stamp, you can see this one has been used quite a bit. Um, and this isn't even my most used one, I don't think. Um, so we've retired that stamp because I wanted to make it more useful, more functional. Um, and so what we've done is we've replaced it with a four by six set. Um, and I'm gonna, I have the whole stamp set on a block right now and I'm just gonna stamp the whole set all together on a block um, so that I can sh give you a nice good look at it. Hopefully I've laid them all out so that it'll stamp nicely. If not, I can stamp them individually. This is the first time this stamp has been stamped because it's a brand new sample from the manufacturer. And I will, uh, I can see the inks beating a little bit. Sometimes with a new stamp, you have to stamp it more than once. These are photopolymer stamps manufactured in the US. It's the same stamp manufacturer as our previous set. So you um, will be familiar with the quality. You're getting the same quality this time as last time. All right, so it's stamped pretty well. We just have a little bit from the, the one font. All right, so here is the stamp. So there are 16 stamps in the set. And there are four images. There are four fonts for photo here. And then there are eight dimensions that are commonly used photo sizes. Uh, and so what I have envisioned is you can do any combination of these three for your placeholder stamps, if you want to put placeholder stamps in your albums that you give as gifts or that you give to sell, um, or you can use any of these images just how you would use any of any stamped image um, as well. So, for example, what I'm thinking is if you're going to do a baby album, let's say, so this is where we'll get into how the stamp set works. Okay, so let's say we are doing a baby album to sell. Stamp set is $15 and I have links in the chat and the video description. Uh, that's for the pre-order. Uh, links in the chat and the video description to our website where we have the stamp on pre-order as well as for those of you who are in Canada, I have a Canadian a website where you can pre-order it as well so you won't have to pay international shipping if you are in Canada. We ship worldwide from our website so if you're in the USA or anywhere other than Canada you can order from us. Um, all right so um, we can take our baby shirt our little onesie here and we're going to line it up on our block. And then what I'll do is I'll take whatever font that I want to use. So in this case, I'll use, let's use this one. I'm going to use this one. Photo here. And now here's the thing with the stamps. I have made all of their backs all the same width. So to line up the words with the t-shirt, all you do is you line up the corners of the stamp backs. Okay? And now you can see, this is kind of hard to see because everything's clear, but here you go. You can see how they line up perfectly on both sides. So now the font is centered under the image. So let's say we're going to do a four by six photo. I mean, that's our most common size, or at least that's my most common size. And it's the same with these stamps. These are also the same width. So the way that you line it up or center it is you just match up the corners once again. Okay. So you don't have to like center the stamps. You don't have to work at getting everything centered. 
you just have to make sure you don't have them overlapping each other. That's your big, um, not big area of concern, but your, your main area of concern. So then you just ink them up like they're all one stamp. And they're going to stamp in a way where the font will be centered under the image and the dimension will be centered under the font, okay? So that's the, the really, like the technical aspect of this stamp set that will make it so easy to use is that you don't have to have a block with lines like this to center your stamps and get them lined up perfectly because the stamps will center themselves because I have centered each of these images, whether it's the image itself or the font or the dimension, it's centered on its backing and the backings are all the same width. So that is how we go from here to here, okay? So that's the main, that's the main like design elegance of the stamp set is that you don't have to figure out how to set everything up on your block, okay? So you just, all you have to do is um, is uh, line up the corners of the stamp backs, okay? All right, so let me pause for one second, say hi to everyone, um, give the links again, links in the video description if you're watching on YouTube or links in the video description if you're watching, well, if you're watching live or if you're watching a recording to where you can get the stamp either in the U.S. or in Canada. So I'm going to post those links in the chat again. Um, and of course the U.S. link is just katherinescraps.com slash shop. You can just go straight to our shop. Uh, just go to Catherine Scraps. Just Google it and our shop will come right up and it'll be, um, it's, I've made it the first thing in all products. So let me just post the links and then I'll check to see if there's any questions uh, in the chat. And we will stamp all the stamps, okay, because I want to talk about the, all the different ways that you can use the stamps. Um, because you don't have to use it the way that I've shown you where you're using all three of them, of course, you can use any combination of the stamps as well. So, all right, so hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me on a Tuesday afternoon. I will still be doing shows Thursday this week as well, so this doesn't replace any shows. This is just an extra show. Uh, we, I wanted to do a reveal of the new stamps that is, is available for pre-order. Just be aware that it is a pre-order, okay? So, this is not... Um, it, you buy it and we'll ship it next week. Um, we haven't sent them to uh, the final numbers from it to manufacturing yet. These are samples from the manufacturer. The stamp is ready to go. I just need to give them a final number of how many I want. So uh, once I do that, I believe it's eight weeks and then before we'll be able to ship them, start shipping them out to you guys. So um, I think I saw on the website that I'm pretty confident by the beginning of September, barring any kind of unforeseen circumstances, that the stamps will be on their way to everyone. Okay, so, and this is just to, like, guarantee you a stamp to make sure that I don't under-order any stamps, okay? That I don't under-order any, any stamps. I don't want to have not enough stamps. I want to have too many stamps because I want to be able to sell these for a while, so... All right, so hi and welcome to Donna Jet. Hello, Donna. I'm glad you're excited about the stamp set. Sam Catherine, also excited. Barbara Jean did a d drum roll. <laughs> Gigi has a earworm from the uh, from the intro song. Scrappy Little Racer says hello. Uh, loves the stamps. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you love the stamps. Catherine says I love how clean and crisp they are. Yes. Yes. Oh, a Barbara Jean says you could stamp them in white if you didn't want to place an extra photo mat in the album, meaning like say you did a, a black background, like your cardstock is black, you could stamp them in white on the black cardstock, then you wouldn't have to put a white mat down and stamp over it, which you absolutely could do. Or if you used a craft background, you could just stamp in black right on the craft background. Absolutely. You wouldn't have to put a mat unless you want a mat. So the U.S., um, and international 
Uh, website is katherinescraps.com. That's my website. Links in the video description again as well. In the archives, I'll put a text file in the folder with this video that has the links so that you can just click on them. So I'll make sure to do that. Hopefully I, my tiny brain will remember to do that <laughs> so that in the archives you can just click the links as well. And then it's Pear Tree Treasures for the Canadian uh, distributor. So the Monica from Pear Tree Treasures is going to do a pre-order on her website. Her website is live now. Um, and then they'll ship out to you in Canada via local shipping. So you won't ha Canadians will not have to pay uh, U.S. shipping on these stamps. Okay. So, all right. So, let's see. Um, so, Deb says, love this set. Had a feeling it would be fantastic. I'm glad you had a good feeling about the stamp set. I'm super happy with it. Um, I'm going to talk about it more. We're going to stamp it more. Um, of course, Crystal says, love it. Just ordered it. Thank you so much for your support, Crystal. I appreciate it. Barbara Jean says, that's genius. I assume that's about how I made all the stamps the same width so that you they automatically center themselves, that that's what's genius. Um, in which case, I agree. I'm not going to be like fake humble about it. I do think it's genius. <laughs> so I do think that's the main feature I want to impress upon you about this stamp set is how easy it will be to use because of how I've done the backgrounds of the stamps. So, um, and it, that was just, again, to make it easy for you to center um, your stamps so that it all lines up perfectly, just like here in this corner, we have everything lining up perfectly. So, uh, so absolutely, yes. That was, that was the main thing that I wanted to, to accomplish with this set, so I'm happy about it. Um, And yeah, okay, so let's see. Um, so Daisy, hello, Daisy, how are you? Hello, so let's talk about your options with this stamp set because you have a bunch of different options. So one is obviously you can stamp all three. So let me do, uh, let me set one up with, with each, um, each one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move uncentered stamps would drive me crazy. Candy says it's the advantage to being like, you know, I always say maybe I'm a little more intense than I need to be with details sometimes, but that, that, that is how you get a stamp set like this. <laughs> so, so there you go. All right. So let me stamp all the rest of the images at least so you can see all the images. And when you're doing the, doing the images, you know, whenever you're putting these stamps down, just don't stretch them too much, okay? So you want to just kind of like line up their corners and then kind of let them fall. And it's more about nudging, you know, more about nudging than anything else. Okay, so let's see. Let's do four by four. I use four by four a lot. I may not stamp every single dimension other than this one just because there's twice as many of those as there is anything else. All right, so I'm gonna ink up my stamp so we can get another image. So when I designed the stamp set, this is the one that I kind of had in mind for a baby album. And this is the, oops, I didn't get the whole the whole stamp. This is the one that I had in mind for every day. So like if your album didn't have any kind of specific theme that this is this is the one. All right. Oh, I love it. Okay, so it's it's another it's a camera. Um, I consider, like I did a camera before, um, I consider cameras to be in crafting, this kind of crafting memory keeping, the number one most versatile image because you're 
putting photos on everything. And so I, when I think of every day, when I think of memory keeping, when I think of uh, memory crafting and scrapbooking, I always think of cameras. So that's why I knew for the everyday album that I wanted to have a camera. Okay, so for the baby, we have the little onesie for baby albums. And for everyday albums, we have the camera again, because I just think the camera is for all of them. You know, that just, that works for everything. You could use a camera for any album. You could use a camera for a baby album. You could use a camera for, to set them all up on their own blocks. Well, you need, what I would recommend if you wanted them all on their own blocks, I mean, if you wanted to order a lot of them, I don't think I would order 24 sets. I would order 16 sets um, because that way you could have every possible combination of image and font um, with 16 sets. And then you could, then you could move the, um, the dimensions around. You know, you wouldn't have every single dimension covered, but you could do the combinations that you would use the most. You know what I mean? So you could do the four that you would use the most, which in my case would be five by seven, four by six, four by four, and three by four. Those are the four I use the most. And so you could have those set up. And then in the, when you wanted to use, like say rarely an eight by 10, you, you could replace like say the five by seven with an eight by 10 and use it that way. Let's just let her order 24. <laughs> I mean, she can order 24 if she wants to order 24. I'm just trying to save her a little money. <laughs> and so, yes, you could order 24 if you wanted to have every possible combination. But 16 will get you most of the way there. So maybe just maybe you could just stop at 16. But order as many as you want. <laughs> so I'm not going to stop you. Like, just, you know, order however many. Bulk discount. Yeah, if you want to order 24, just email uh, info at katherinescraps.com. See if you can get a discount. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, but yeah, 16 is, is more manageable than 24 sets for sure. But yeah, to get 16 will get you every possible combination of the four images and the four fonts. And then you can, you know, work with the dimensions from there. <laughs> so, um, okay. So do I have financing terms? <laughs> yeah. What's a, What's um what's one of those little like shop buy now pay later shop thing affinity is affinity one of them that sounds familiar I feel like I see that I don't know <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure we could come to some kind of arrangement You could just do it we could just do a subscription where you just get sent a stamp every month for a year and a half and then you've got all all of them All right so next I have a cake. It's a wedding cake. And we'll do the wedding cake. And with the wedding cake, we'll do, let's see, let's do eight by 10. You have a wedding is one where you would use the eight by 10 more than other albums, I think. so cute all right so there is the wedding cake um so for your wedding albums you can absolutely have there's your wedding cake for your wedding album so for with this set i wanted to do everyday baby wedding and travel because i figured those were the four most common but if you are interested um we can talk about i thought about a uh, holiday set where we had like a Halloween, a Christmas, um, or maybe winter, generic winter, something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. It, maybe next year, maybe that'll be the 2023 stamp release is we can add in, add in some holidays and fonts or something like that. If you, if you want to go more, if we want to expand the set. Okay. 
but for now, for now, let's just let's just get this one done first. <laughs> I don't have these blocks. These ultra thin blocks are the Tim Holtz blocks. Um, I don't know if these are still. I've had them for a really long time. I don't know if he still has these. But if you, uh, they come all together in one in one set, or at least they used to, or they did when I bought them. So. Um, all right, so what do we need to do? We need to do the map. So 48 sets. So Barbara Jean says she says you need 48 sets in the end. Um, and we don't sell these blocks. I don't know if he still sells them. Okay, so for the travel, let's do, we'll be, do three by four. We'll do three by four. All right. Okay. Ah! And then we have the map. So we have the map, and the map is to symbolize all of your travel. So we have the map. Okay. So this is one way to use the stamp where you pick one from here, one from here, and one from here. Um, I am not set up to take Venmo, um, but I can do PayPal if, um, and we do allow PayPal credit as well. Um, but uh, if you need to use something like say Zelle, um, or something like that, Barbara Jean, just because your situation is unique, you can go ahead and in, uh, email us at info at catherinescraps.com um, and tell, tell us how many stamps you want and, um, and we'll, we can do the uh, transfer via Zelle or something like that. I mean, PayPal, if you can figure out a way to swing it with PayPal um, with, without a debit card, you just have, you have protection with PayPal, but... I mean, it's not like we're trying to, <laughs> we're not going to try and rip you off, Barbara Jean, but I'm just saying, like, you know, you, you have protections with PayPal. That's why we use them as our payment processor. Um, so, but we'll still be, we'll still be sending you the stamps that you order. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, you can send an email to Barbara Jean. I'm sorry that happened to you that someone stole your identity. That sucks really bad. It, I know it takes forever to sort all that out to so and it's super inconvenient while you're working on it so i'm very very sorry you're going through that but yeah just email us at info at catherinescraps.com and we'll figure it out with you deb says holidays would be great so uh, that's what i'm thinking i just need to figure out how i th i'm thinking with holidays that i would do it as like an expansion set and so what i'm thinking is that I would eliminate the dimensions, which would allow me to get, I'm, I'm hoping that I could maybe get two, two more images so I could do six images and four fonts if I did holidays, if I didn't have the dimensions. But if it didn't allow me to do um, six images and four fonts, I could do six images and two fonts or four images and like, um, eight fonts. So it would just depend on, on how I'd have to work with the layouts because I have to work, you know, I have to work in the space that the light can, can do it. The light that the light works. Okay. So this is one way to use it. Now, one of the things I had in mind while I was doing this was how to make it easy, not just for you. So like the way that we make it easy for you is by the design of the stamps themselves with the, with their backs all being the same size. Okay. But how to make it easy for people you're gifting albums to or if you sell albums, the people who are buying your albums, okay? 
And so that's why we included all the dimensions so that they, they don't have to go through the album with a ruler and figure the dimensions out or you don't have to write all the dimensions in your handwriting either. So you don't have to do that. But if you don't want this, if you don't want an image, let's say you have an album and you just don't think that any of these four images are like the right vibe. Of course, you don't have to use the image. So you can take, you know, any photo here. Okay. And any dimension and line them up together because they're going to work with or without their image, their matching image. And you can, of course, stamp just these two. And they're still going to line up perfectly because even without the big one, they still center on each other. Okay, so you can do just this. All right, so you can do just this, but you can do just photo here. Okay, so if you have one of these fonts that you love more than the others and you just want to stamp every little photo mat really quick, of course, you can stamp just photo here by itself. You don't have to stamp it with anything else because they're all, of course, individual stamps that work on their own as well. All right. So you can stamp just photo here by itself and you can stamp just the dimension by itself as well. So if you like your photo mats to be really, really simple so that they're not, um, so they're fading into the background and you just want to get the information across to the recipient that they need, then of course you can stamp just the dimensions and it will still look neat, clean, professional, you know, or, or if it's a gift, if it's not for sale, artisanal, <laughs> handcrafted, you know. So let's set up a block and let's stamp a photo mat so you can see what it looks like on a mat for a four by six photo. Oh yeah, that's a good idea, Candy. So Candy said you can stick the size if you have this favorite photo stamp and you want to use this favorite photo stamp for whatever for because you like the camera or what it, whatever, you can add the dimensions underneath it. Absolutely. So let's just let me just show what that would look like. Now this one you will have to center with your eyeballs just because I don't think the, they're the same size, but they're very close to the same size. So centering will be easy. Well, so let me just show it to you. So you can see it does come very close to the edge. There, that's a good image. It comes very close to the edge, so it's not going to be hard to eyeball if you want to add this under the original. All right, so let's just, let's stamp it under the original. Look how filthy the original is. By the way, photopolymer stamps do stain. Um, that's just part of the nature of them. So eventually all photo photopolymer stamps end up looking like this brown color in my experience. Um, but it's a much higher quality than acrylic, which doesn't stain as much. So acrylic doesn't stain as much, but I find that photopolymer stamps give you a much better image. Ooh. I didn't press hard enough at all. Um, so let me try again. <laughs> Good thing I'm not trying to sell you on the favorite photo stamp because it didn't it didn't have a great showing just then. All right, there you go. Um, then another thing to note, just for this font favorite and this font for the dimensions, they are the same font, I believe. So I think these two are the same font. So they're gonna mesh well together. So um, pretty sure that they're the same font. I use the same font for both of those. So there you can get the dimensions on your favorite photo stamps as well. So if you wanna use your favorite photo stamp, your, the that's the original stamp. You can use that one with any of the dimensions as well. Okay. 
All right, so let me just now talk about lining them up on your block because obviously so far what I've been doing is lining them up image font dimension, which is how they're laid out on their stamp set, right? But you don't have to line them up image font dimension, okay? So let's get another, let me set this to the side for a second and let's do another, where's my block? Oh, it's literally in front of my face, cool. All right, so let's do wedding. All right. Of course you can put them image font dimension, but you can also put them font image dimension. All right, you can do font image dimension. You can do image dimension font. Because it doesn't matter how you line them up, they're gonna line themselves up. Okay, and of course, you can do dimension image font. So you can also line them up like this. Now, the wedding cake in particular, because it has a flat bottom, I think the wedding cake looks better if everything's underneath the wedding, plate, wedding cake. But um, that's like kind of, that's the wedding cake <laughs> because the wedding cake does have that super straight bottom like it's sitting on a tray um but i mean you know of course just because i like the way it looks when the everything's underneath the wedding cake doesn't mean that everything has to be underneath the wedding cake or that it's wrong to do it otherwise now let's Let's grab the map. Okay, so the thing about the images is that the images are squares. Uh, so what that means is you can line stuff up on the sides if you want to. So you can line up one at the top and one at the side, for example, because the images are the same width as height. So you don't have to line them up in a column Okay, you can line them up in other arrangements. So because the image is a square and the fonts are rectangles and the dimensions are rectangles, 
you can arrange the fonts and the dimensions around the images however you want. So in this case, I've got one on the top and one on the side. Um, with the map, I think it looks particularly cool because I think it looks kind of like coordinates almost. All right, you get a little bit of a geo tag vibe. Um, so, um, but you can do that with any of them. Of course, you can do that with any of them. So you can put the dimensions however you want. All right, let's grab. Let's do it all on the side. All right, so we can do it all on the side. All right. So you can do it side to side if you want. All right. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can use these in your books. All right. Um, so you don't have to um, just line them up in a column. You, there's no particular order you have to line them up in. Think of this like an album basics guide. You have all the pieces and you can arrange them however you want to arrange them. You know, so you can arrange them, you know, top and side, top and bottom, all underneath, all on the sides, you know, however you want to do it, it will work. So, uh, and that's because the images are squares, okay? Because the images are squares, so you can use any side. You can use any side or any combination of sides. Um, so the images are not rectangles, so you can, you can line them up however you want to line them up. So, and I think this does look really, really cute for a travel album doing it like this. Um, of course, you can do it where the photo here is underneath and the image is on the side as well. And I am not lined up. So once again, these stamps are ready to be manufactured. This is a sample from the manufacturer. This is how they will look. This is their final form, so to speak. And we are doing a pre-order right now so that you can be guaranteed to get one from the first run. And the reason we're doing the pre-order is we just want to make sure that we have enough for everybody. We don't want to leave anyone out. Um, I don't want to under order. That's my, that's my concern. I don't care if I over order at all. I just don't want to under order. So, um, so yeah, so this is the new stamp set. This is the, uh, photo here, four by six stamp set. Um, we may ex make expansion packs for it with holidays and other things down the line, like say a year from now. Um, maybe next summer and then they'll be out in time for the holidays. Who knows? That won't be immediately. I got to get these out first. Um, but I do think that I could expand on it later if we want to keep with this format versus this format. Um, I did love this stamp. I used it for years and years and years, but I just think this is more useful. Um, just like more overall useful is, is what I was, was thinking if that I was going to do another stamp set, I want, would want it to be this kind of like the remaster. I want it to be this but also like more this but also more so that's what we have going on with these stamp sets so are there any questions about these stamp sets i'm going to post the links to the pre-orders in the video description in or excuse me in the chat and then just as a reminder if you're watching this on youtube there are the links that i'm posting in the chat are going to be available in the video description if you want to order, we have two links. The first is for every country but Canada. So, and that's uh, our website, CatherineScraps.com. 
And then the, the other is we do have a store in Canada that's gonna do a pre-order as well. So if you're in Canada, you can save on shipping by ordering from Pear Tree Treasures um, as well. Stamp is $15. It's a four by six stamp set. It is photopolymer. It is gonna be manufactured in the USA. So um, I expect to have them by the end of August and to have them out to everyone by the beginning of September. Manufacturing is, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> it, it, but we should be okay. You know, I haven't had problems with these manufacturers in the past. Um, so hopefully we'll be all good. Okay, so um, basically the way it's going to work is I'm going to have the pre-order open through the end of July. So right now, today, it's July 20th, Tuesday, July 20th. I'm going to have it pre-order open through 11.55 p.m. on Saturday, July 31st. Okay, so I'll remind you on Thursday and I'll remind you on next Thursday to uh, order the stamps that you want to order. And anyone who does a pre-order will get a stamp, definitely. So the, the, the pre-order is just reserving a stamp for yourself so that I know that I have enough stamps manufactured that I don't run out basically. I don't wanna run out on the first day because I just didn't get the demand right. So that's why we're doing the pre-order. But my goal is to order enough over the pre-order that I can sell them for a while. So I, I'm gonna try, you know. I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. All right, um, and you know, Candy said you can stick the size under your favorite photo stamp. You could stick this size under like any stamp really. So like, let's say you did a Disney album and you had a Mickey Mouse stamp, you could put a photo here and a dimension under the stamp, you know what I mean? So like you could really, like you could use parts of this set, like specifically the fonts and the dimensions, with any stamps that you have for any kind of album, especially if you got like a paper collection that had matching stamps or whatever, you wanted to really coordinate your album, that's certainly an option. Um, so you could use, you could use the, the fonts and the dimensions with any stamp set that you own. They're not gonna line up, you know, I mean, the font and the dimension will line up with each other. You'll have to center the image over them. But like, that's not gonna be hard to do. Um, you know, you'll be fine. I'm, I have so much faith in you guys <laughs> at your ability to, to center images over words. So, so yeah. Janet said, sorry, I'm late. I love the stamps. Thank you so much, Janet. I'm so glad you ordered. I appreciate the support. Crystal, thank you. I'm glad you think the stamps are beautiful. I'm really happy with the stamps. I'm very happy with them. Um, I like how versatile the set is, how many different ways there are to use all the stamps with each other. Um, all the different combinations or using them solo, however you want to use it. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the set. I'm glad you are also happy with the set. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who says that they like the set. <laughs> I appreciate it. Are there any questions at all about the stamp set or about the um, or about the pre-order process or any any of that? Or do you all are you all good? Are you all good? Joanne, you're very welcome. Thank you, Gigi, also. Thank you. Thank you for, or, for all the work you put in to make it easy for us. I, I try I try to think of, of what I can think of. <laughs> I try to think of as many things as I can think of. You know, it helps that I'm a crafter too, so I kind of know what I want. You know what I mean? And it, so when I'm like, well, how would a set be more useful for me? 
and then that can help me as well. You know, like what, what, what am I, what do I feel like I'm missing with this? But I'm really happy with this set. I, I definitely think it's not just a replacement, but an improvement on the original stamp. I mean, it is a set. <laughs> so the original stamp was one stamp. So, <laughs> you know, um, but I, I, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And, um, and I'm glad we have a Canadian distributor now so that um, we can do that as well. Um, and then with the Canadians, you know, you'll, you'll order from Monica, the stamps will ship to me, and then I'll ship them to Monica, and how long that'll take will depend on whether or not the border's open, essentially. Um, because if the border is open, she can pick them up in the United States, and so the shipping will be very minimal, and if the border's not open, then it's gotta go through Canadian Customs, the New York Com Canadian Customs, and you know that can take a minute. So, <laughs> you know that that can take a minute. Um, so, Canadians, you may get yours later, by a few weeks than the people in the U.S. Um, how many weeks is just depending on the border, what's up with the border. So, um, but you know, that'll, it wouldn't come any faster if I shipped them directly to you guys. You know what I mean? They'd have to, they have to go through the border one way or the other. So it's, um, you know, it's not going to be any longer than if I shipped them. And it, it has a good chance of being shorter. Um, so... Hopefully she'll be able to pick them up in the U.S. And it'll be all set. So thank you so much to everyone who's pre-ordered the stamp. Uh, be sure to pre-order if you are sure you want the stamp to pre-order it before the end of July to be sure that you definitely get one. I'm going to be posting this video um, on YouTube and on Facebook so that anyone who missed it can see it. And I think that's it. I think I'll head out now. So um, thank you so much for uh, taking a look at this stamp set with me. I'm happy with how it turned out. And I'm so thrilled that you're all so happy. I will be back for my normal shows at 2 p.m. Eastern USA time and 9 p.m. Eastern USA time on Thursday, uh, which is July 22nd. So I'll be back in two days with the normal shows. I'm sure I'll talk about the stamps again so that the usual Thursday crowd can see them. But thank you so much for joining my reveal and I'll see you next time. Bye now.